My name is Yang Liu. I'm a postdoc in Jackson Laboratory Lab. Today, my topic is cloud compatible pipeline for nanopore long read sequencing data consensus in mass selection detection. Epigenetic is a study of how cells control gene activities without changing of the DNA sequences. Epigenetic changes do not change DNA, but change how the body reads DNA. The major types of epigenetic changes are DNA modifications, histone modifications, and non-coding RNAs. Studies show that more than 50% of human cancer have mutations in genes that encode regulators of the epigenome. A lot of technologies has been developed to quantify DNA methylation, and bisulfide sequencing is a gold standard technology for DNA methylation. In bisulfide sequencing, the chemical conversion will only convert unmethylated C to T, leaving methylated C as it is. The bisulfide sequencing is the most widely available and standardized technology for qualitative and quantitative efficient detection of 5MC. However, bisulfide sequencing also have some shortcomings. Firstly, it will damage the DNA sequences. Secondly, it is short reads, so it contains uneven genome coverage and inherent biases. Lastly, it cannot distinguish 5MC and 5HMC. Nanopore sequencing expands the capacity of long range and single base, single molecule DNA methylation detection. Previously, we benchmarked and ranked the seven computational tools for DNA methylation detection. The methylation detection at regions of discordant non singleton DNA methylation patterns and intergenic regions, low stage density regions, and repetitive regions exhibited low performance using nanopore sequencing. Furthermore, long read sequencing analysis for the human genome requires much more computing resources than next generation sequencing. Thus, the scalability and reproducibility are critical in pipeline design. Currently, no pipeline integrates and automates DNA methylation detection for nanopore sequencing using cloud computing. To handle these issues, we developed the first nanomy pipeline, which based on next flow technologies and the container environment, such as Docker and Singularity for consensus DNA methylation detection using XGBoost model, which is a gradient boost algorithm for nanopore long read sequencing. Compared to nano other nanopore pipelines such as Nanopipe, Princess, NanoMassFace, and Meti Array. Nanomi pipeline is fully automated with one, with one command line or web-based UI, and it is cloud compatible with Google Cloud and Labbit Cloud OS, and it supports haplotype resolved 5MC and 5HMC. We further curated Nanomi pipeline on CloudOS, collaborated with Labbit AI teams. The objective of Nanomi pipeline are scalable web UI based and cloud compatible. The pipeline has features of multi modifications for allele specific methylation, and the pipeline supports terra based scale data analysis with a single command line. Furthermore, the consensus XGBoost model can improve the methylation detection performance than other top performers. And one of our academic year fellows, which is also our co-author, Mr. Zetcher, worked in our lab. He is a high school student and he worked on Nanomy pipeline on CloudOS. The objective here is to making our Nanomy pipeline easy to use for even the high school students. And in Mr. Zetcher's project, he designed a tutorial video for how to run Nanomy pipeline. The tutorial video can be also checked at our GitHub. The Nanomy pipeline is an open source, reproducible, and end to end pipeline for whole genome DNA methylation detection. And it is compatible with multiple HPC clusters and CloudOS platforms. A web-based interface is available using LabBit CloudOS.
for cloud-based analysis, monitoring of processes, and visualize the results from a single command line. Nanomi pipeline is a useful and complete step forward for DNA isolation detection and long-range epigenetic phasing. Thank you for your listening.